Welcome to this webinar. We want to take this opportunity to inform our Chesapeake families of the exciting programs our school division has to offer. We offer three specialized academies, the IB Academy at Oscar Smith High School, the Science and Medicine Academy at Deep Creek High School, and the STEM Academy, which is offered at Grassville High School. Students may apply to one, two, or all three of our specialized academies. The truth is we will receive many more applications than there are slots for the programs. There are 60 slots available per academy for a total of 180 division-wide. If you are selected to be a part of an academy cohort, you are not only pledging to the program, you are committing to the program for a full four years. There is no early graduation consideration in our academies. As stated earlier, students may apply to one, two, or all three of our academies. Should you be accepted to an academy and start there as a freshman, you are immediately eligible to participate in VHSL sports and activities. If you should transfer back to your home school, the VHSL one-year transfer rule applies you would be required to wait one full year before being allowed to participate in VHSL activities. Students receive transportation from a bus stop near their home to all of our academies. As a reminder, Algebra 1 and a 3.0 GPA are required. If you are selected to be in an academy, there is a late summer opportunity for students. STEM Surge, Project Ignite for SMA and IB Immersion. In addition to our wonderful academy offerings, our school division has a strong partnership with Tidewater Community College, which allows us to offer dual enrollment college and career pathways to our students. In an agreement with TCC, we offer our students several opportunities to earn high school credit along with college credit. The tuition is only $45 per credit hour. This rate is significantly cheaper than TCC's true rate per credit hour, which is approximately $185. Financial assistance is available to families who qualify. College and career pathways are not only an opportunity for students to obtain college credits, but they are detailed plans to help students obtain specific credentials, certifications, and credits that are seamlessly aligned with two and four year college programs. Using dual enrollment credits and or AP courses with qualifying exam scores, students can obtain a transfer degree or a one-year uniform certificate of general studies. Currently, our school division offers a general studies certificate with more than 30 college credits obtained and a social sciences transfer degree with more than 60 college credits. Additionally, we offer college and career pathways at the Chesapeake Career Center. Students from all seven high schools may apply to take courses at the Career Center. Students enrolled in these courses will graduate from TCC with a Career Studies Certificate. Be sure to inquire with your school counselor about the current offerings. Participating in dual enrollment truly is an outstanding opportunity to obtain college credits before ever leaving high school and at a much cheaper rate. I would like to close by sharing a few final details about applying for the academies. First, applications to our academies will be available online tomorrow, December 1st. Second, all applications are to be submitted by December 15th. Any applications that are incomplete or come in after the deadline will not be considered in the first round of reviews. Students must use their Chesapeake Public Schools email credentials to apply. If a student is not currently a Chesapeake Public School student, they should use the application for students who are not currently enrolled. 
Assessments are required and students will be able to select an assessment date through the online application process. Students will need to check their email address for assessment directions and links. A neutral panel of educators will review applications and selected students will be notified by mid-March. At this time, you will hear from each of our academy coordinators to share more details about their specific academy. We will start with Mrs. Carrie Lancaster from the IB Academy. Hello, this is Carrie Lancaster, the IB Coordinator at Oscar Smith High School, and I'm excited to share information with you about the IB program this evening. IB began in 1968 in Europe as a program of study for the children of those who traveled around the world often. They wanted a program that was recognized internationally and had an excellent reputation due to an exceptional academic curriculum. IB has grown exponentially in the years since because the standard of excellence has stood the test of time. Our IB program began in 2002 and we're excited that our program has also maintained this standard for nearly 20 years. In 1968 when IB began, they developed this mission statement which says that the IB aims to develop inquiring, knowledgeable, and caring young people who help to create a better and more peaceful world through intercultural understanding and respect. The IB works in partnership with schools to ensure that programs are challenging and assessments are rigorous, but ultimately the IB aims to create lifelong learners who go out into the world and make it a better place. While IB does focus on academics, at the very heart of every IB program is the IB Learner Profile. IB also hopes to develop well-rounded students and citizens who go out to change the world. They act with integrity. They are open-minded and courageous. They are knowledgeable. They are balanced with passions inside and outside of the classroom. They ask questions. They reflect on their knowledge. They are good communicators, critical thinkers, and caring students who aim to make their communities better. Schools can offer an IB program if they are officially authorized by the IB organization out of Geneva, Switzerland. Currently, there are nearly 6,800 programs in over 5,400 schools in 159 different countries to offer an IB program. That's almost 2 million students worldwide. Over 3,400 schools offer the prestigious IB Diploma Program. So what makes IB different? IB offers high power challenging classes in all core subjects and foreign language each year. That's a total of 25 cohorted classes, which creates a true community of learners. IB focuses on metacognition, learning how you know what you know, and thinking about the process of thinking. Often, answers in IB are just jumping off points to new questions. IB enhances critical thinking skills. You learn study skills and thinking skills that help you in the future with whatever you choose to study because IB offers such a well-rounded curriculum. And since it's a worldwide program, there's an international focus in your studies. You look at what you are learning from multiple points of view. Our IB program is a four-year program. Pre-diploma courses in grades 9 and 10 help students develop the skills necessary for success in the diploma program in grades 11 and 12. These courses are intensified honors or AP level courses in at least five subject areas each year, and they teach study skills and organizational skills necessary for success in the IB program. They also reinforce IB assessment formats in each subject area. IB Diploma Program courses that students complete in grades 11 and 12 are AP weighted courses. Students complete IB courses in six different subject areas. Each IB course is two years in length and they operate on an alternating day block schedule. Assessments in these courses are scored using international standards. The first of the six groups is Group 1, Studies in Language and Literature, IB English. Students strengthen both writing and oral skills and study works originally written in English. However, the curriculum is complemented by the study of works originally written in languages other than English to provide an international perspective.
IB Group 2 is language acquisition, IB Spanish, or IB French. There's a strong focus on written communication, and these courses celebrate the heritage of the target language. Students use the language in a variety and range of contexts and complete through IB French or IB Spanish 5, so they truly have an opportunity to become fluent in a second language. Group 3, Individuals and Societies, includes the course IB History of the Americas. Students study both North and South America, gaining an understanding of major historical events in these areas in a global context. Students look at similar and dissimilar solutions to common human problems around the world, and they learn to compare different political systems, different cultures, and different national traditions. Group 4 includes the experimental sciences. IB Biology, IB Chemistry, and IB Physics are course options for our students. These courses enhance practical laboratory skills. Between 45 and 60 lab hours are required depending on the course. Scientific collaboration is enhanced through the Group 4 project. This interdisciplinary project groups students from each of the IB science classes into smaller groups where they investigate collaboratively and try to solve a current contemporary science issue, just as in the scientific world. It fosters an awareness of moral and ethical issues in science, as well as a sense of social responsibility through the examination of local and global issues that are impacting our world in the field of science. IB Group 5 is Mathematics. We offer IB Math Applications and Interpretation Standard Level and Higher Level, and IB Math Analysis and Approaches Standard Level and Higher Level. All of these courses promote confidence in and an ability to communicate using math language. IB Math Applications and Interpretation emphasizes modeling and statistics and applying math to the real world. IB Math Analysis and Approaches emphasizes algebraic methods and strong mathematical thinking skills. All of these courses have different hour requirements for algebra, geometry, functions, trigonometry, statistics, probability, and calculus. These hours vary depending on the course selected. IB Group 6 includes arts and electives. Students select from IB Visual Arts, IB Psychology, IB World Religions, IB Business Management, or a second IB Science. Selecting an IB elective allows students to focus on their areas of strength and specialized in their unique subject areas of interest. Having such a wide variety of courses from which to choose truly allows students to tailor their IB education to meet their future goals. Engineering students may choose to take IB English, Spanish, History, IB Physics, IB Math Analysis and Approaches Higher Level, IB Chemistry, and Computer Science as their Chesapeake Public Schools elective. Students who hope to go into a humanities field may elect to take IB English, Spanish, History, Biology, IB Math Applications and Interpretation Standard Level, IB Psychology, and possibly AP Art History as an elective course. Students who plan to study medicine or science may elect to take IB English, French, History, Biology, IB Math Analysis and Approaches Standard Level, IB Chemistry, and a General Physics Chesapeake Public Schools elective. And a student who is interested in pursuing a degree in business may select IB English, Spanish, History of the Americas, Biology, Math Applications and Interpretation Higher Level, IB Business Management, and possibly Introduction to Marketing as their Chesapeake Public Schools elective. In addition to the academic courses, there are also three fundamental core elements in every IB diploma program as well. Creativity, Activity, and Service, or CAS, the Extended Essay, or EE, and TOK, Theory of Knowledge. CAS, or Creativity, Activity, and Service, develops the whole student. 
In the final two years of the program, students participate in approximately 15 CAS experiences. They set learning outcomes for each experience and reflect upon their growth. These experiences have a positive impact on the students, at the school, and in the community. In addition, students must plan and implement a large-scale collaborative service project as part of CAS. Some past projects include Wands for Wildlife, a Spanish language book drive in partnership with English language learners from our feeder elementary schools, a pancake breakfast to fund school beautification projects, a letter writing campaign for those isolated due to COVID-19, and the Tiger Trot 5K, which has raised over $15,000 the past three years for Oscar Smith High School students and families in need. The CAS program and CAS partnerships allow students to have volunteer, shadowing, or internship experiences in their areas of interest. TOK, or Theory of Knowledge, is a course that teaches IB students to reflect on how they know what they know, to be aware of biases in things that they see, read, and hear, to analyze evidence thoroughly, and to appreciate multiple perspectives. Finally, the Extended Essay, or EE, is a personal research paper completed in a student's area of interest over the junior and senior years in the program. It consists of approximately 4,000 words and acquaints IB Diploma candidates with the independent research that will be expected by colleges and universities. It is completed with the help of a teacher mentor, and it is a 14-month process, so the paper is manageable. The world-class IB Diploma program and its courses provide outstanding preparation for college, greater access to competitive institutions, recognition by colleges all over the world, and even possible college credit and scholarships as a result of completing the program. Research shows that IB students are accepted at a significantly higher rate than the total population acceptance at major institutions around the world. This supports that colleges realize that IB students are indeed prepared for success on their campuses. IB program requirements are enhanced by in-class individual and group activities, field trips, parent and student activities, and also orientation events that allow students to understand that they are part of a unique program. So why IB? for that IB mission statement and learner profile that are shared by nearly two million students around the world, to have international standards in your courses, to have concurrency of learning so what you are doing in one class clearly connects to what you are doing in other classes, to experience a smaller learning community of students who learn from each other and grow together, to have dedicated, talented teachers who often become lifelong mentors and to earn an elite, well-rounded education that's recognized all over the world. Oscar Smith High School IB graduates are currently doctors, nurses, dentists, pharmacists, chemists, and archeologists. They are lawyers, politicians, and military personnel. They are writers, poets, editors, artists, news anchors. They are Peace Corps volunteers, students who study abroad, teachers, and even teachers teaching English in foreign countries. They are engineers, computer scientists, mathematicians, and physicists, and so much more. This well-rounded IB education truly prepares students for anything. Curiosity is the biggest key, and as humankind, I think we all have something. I'd love to empower people to become risk takers. I would say that a good journalist needs to be curious and inquisitive, really interested in other people. If you're not truly interested in other people, I don't think you're going to become a good journalist. A lot of my friends, a lot of my former IB friend graduates, they're, you know, they're doing really well in different fields. And I think that's one thing that I'm really grateful for, that 
there's so much diversity among us and we still support each other in different ways. Through IB, I was really inspired to help others and to dedicate my time to serving those who are less fortunate. And I wanted to help women and that was the most important thing to me. So within seven months from the first time that I visited Jordan, the Women's Sewing Center was operational. I'd love to empower them to make connections with the other women at the center because I really believe in the power of friendship and the power of support. You have to respect each other. You have to understand each other. Uh, I think I learned that through my two years of uh, studying international baccalaureate. Thank you so much for your interest in the IB Diploma Program and for joining us this evening. Please visit the Oscar Smith High School webpage for additional details and a series of informational IB Program videos. Have a great evening. At this time, it is my honor to introduce Mrs. Heather Ott, the Science and Medicine Academy Coordinator from Deep Creek High School. I'm Heather Ott, the Science and Medicine Academy Coordinator at Deep Creek High School. I'm glad you are here to learn more about our program and the many opportunities your child will have through the Science and Medicine Academy. So how is this academy different? Well, for one, we have specialized curriculum. The academy students are exposed to courses not offered anywhere else in the city. They're only offered to our academy students. For example, forensic science, or animal science and veterinary medicine, or sports medicine and athletic injury, just to name a few. They also have more hands-on experiences. Secondly, students in the academy take a minimum of two science classes a year with the opportunity for more in their junior and senior year. Most high school seniors graduate with three to four science credits. Our students are graduating with a minimum of eight science credits. That allows them to stand out when they go to apply for college. They will have the opportunity for AP and dual enrollment. AP stands for advanced placement. Students take an AP class, such as AP biology or AP English. And at the end of the course, they take an AP exam. When they go to apply for college, if they scored well on that exam, they have the opportunity to earn college credit. Dual enrollment is where we pair up with a college or university in the area, like TCC, ODU, Virginia Wesleyan, and while they're sitting in their high school classroom, they're not only earning their high school credit, but they're earning college credit at the same time. So the academy courses will ensure that the instruction is tailored to the goals and philosophy of the Science and Medicine Academy, and that teacher guidance will help the students meet with success. And finally, students are grouped into many classes, including all of their science and math classes, with academy students only. These are known as cohort classes. This helps provide a learning environment which is conducive to the rigorous coursework these students will receive. What are some of the features for the Science and Medicine Academy? For one, we have curricular activities. These include activities such as field trips. If you look up at the picture in the center of the screen, this is the virtual operating room at EVMS, or Eastern Virginia Medical School. Students go in and they perform a virtual surgery using virtual instruments. So it allows the students to see how well they would do. 
It is the same training first and second year medical students receive. In the bottom right hand corner is a field trip where students were given a set of materials and they had to design and build an underwater ROV. Then they had to test it out to see if their design actually worked. Second, we have a panel of guest speakers. These are experts from a field that come in and talk to our students about their profession and what they do on a day to day basis. Thirdly, in their junior year, they will have a job shadowing placement. They will do this for 20 hours. The student will be paired with an expert in the field of their choosing. So if they go, Mrs. Ott, I think I wanna be a plastic surgeon. We will pair them with a plastic surgeon and they will go around and see what they do on a day-to-day -day basis. This allows them time to explore the profession. In their senior year, they will have an internship. They will do this for 60 hours. Again, they're paired with an expert of their choosing. So if the student goes, you know what, Mrs. Ott, I really don't like plastic surgery. I think I wanna be a mechanical engineer. Then we will place them with a mechanical engineer and it allows them to put theory into practice and it gives them that hands-on experience. We have a current student that was placed in a computer science field where they helped develop the app Kami. And this app administers an inventory test that allows medical professionals to analyze the behaviors of Alzheimer patients. This same student entered into a contest and went on to win the fourth district congressional award for the app. So pretty awesome opportunities for our kids. We have students that graduate and come back, they email, they call, and they tell us thank you. Thank you for the opportunities in high school. Those 60 hours of internship and 20 hours of job shadowing qualified me for the job. That summer internship, that medical placement, or got me into med school because of the experiences that I had. So it truly does benefit our students. And finally, we do have a Project Ignite in August. This is for the incoming freshmen. It allows them to come in and meet other Academy students, their teachers, the Academy staff. It allows them to transition not only into a new school, but into a new program. So it allows them that time to bond and start building their cohort. I am proud to say that we are recognized as a program that works in STEM education through the state of Virginia. The hard work and dedication of our teachers, staff, and students have made this possible. They are exposed to all areas of STEM, not just the sciences. So in the next few slides, I wanna show you how STEM factors into all of our courses. For English, students have the opportunity for honors, AP, and dual enrollment. In 9th and 10th grade, they are cohorted in SMA English 9 and 10. In these classes, they're also going to be introduced to technical writing, which is an important skill in the fields of science and medicine. So that just shows some of the specialty that we add in the English classes. For 11th and 12th grade, they will have the opportunity to take honors, AP, or dual enrollment. Remember, AP and dual enrollment is how they have the opportunity of earning college credit. For math, if your child is currently in Algebra 1, they will come in and take SMA Honors Geometry. If they're currently in Geometry, they will come in and take a combined fast pace SMA Algebra 2 Trig course. So in the maths, they are cohorted all the way through, and they do have the opportunity to take AP level courses in math as well. The math classes use real world application and problem solving skills as they apply to science and medicine. For social studies, SMA students are cohorted together in SMA Honors 9 and again in SMA Honors 10. And this is because they discuss the industrialization of the science and medical fields. In 11th and 12th grade, they have the opportunity to choose honors, AP, or dual enrollment courses. Remember students are taking two science classes a year. So I wanted to show you some of the AP courses that they would be exposed to as well as some of the other sciences. So you can see on this slide, you have some of the APs as well as the two science classes that they would take their freshman year. 
The Academy courses are for Academy students only. This is where the specialized curriculum comes into play. In the sciences, students are introduced to scientific and medical terminology, along with the many scientific and medical issues facing our society today. SMA students will be exposed to courses not offered anywhere else in the city. They will have the opportunity for biotechnology, astronomy, or medicinal chemistry, just to name a few. We have recently added the Project Lead the Way Biomedical Science endorsement to our curriculum. Many of our current courses align with this program, so it is a wonderful addition for the Science and Medicine Academy. It is a series of four science classes that your child can put into their schedule. If they take all four, they do get a Project Lead the Way certificate of completion at the end, and they also have the AP plus Project Lead the Way endorsement where they can earn college credit through Project Lead the Way. Here are some of our partners who have joined us in giving our juniors and seniors opportunities to job shadow and intern. Remember, these choices are based off the interest of our students. We have many more partners that are willing to serve when the time comes and they're called upon. So we want to extend our gratitude to all of our partners for giving our students these great opportunities for job shadowing and internships. Here are some of our seniors who are interested in pursuing a career in medicine, and they were able to spend three days at EVMS with a mentor medical student. It gave our students the chance to see what it might be like in medical school and to actually immerse into and be a medical student for that time. So it was a great experience for our students. Here are some of the colleges that our current seniors from last June are attending. They received $3.6 million in scholarships last year, many with full rides to the college university of their choosing. What is the criteria for admissions into the Science and Medicine Academy? The student must have a minimum of a 3.0 GPA, which is a B average. So we're not looking for straight A's, just that the student works hard. Successful completion of Algebra 1, whether that is now or over the summer. There are students every year who are accepted into the program and then take Algebra 1 in summer school. We look at recommendations from your current English, math, science, and social studies teachers. And then you do come in to take an applied science and math assessment. Students accepted into the academy are exposed to new and innovative scientific and medical information on a daily basis. However, the SMA students have embraced being a part of the Deep Creek Hornet family. Many have sought out extracurricular activities to fully become an active part of this close-knit group. We are looking for you to join our unique program. I'm very excited to be a part of the Science and Medicine Academy, but I thought you might like to hear what some of our students think. <laughs> Don't
Thank you for joining us this evening. I look forward to seeing your applications for the Science and Medicine Academy. At this time, I'm going to turn the program over to Mrs. Strahan, the Governor's STEM Academy Coordinator at Grassfield High School. Hi, my name is Meredith Strahan, and I am the Governor's STEM Academy Coordinator at Grassfield High School. Thank you for attending tonight. STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. But at the Governor's STEM Academy, the E in STEM also stands for entrepreneurship because many, many, many of the entrepreneurs of today and certainly tomorrow are engineers and software programmers. Are you ready? Let's go. Technology is the underlying factor of every aspect of our lives, and technology is advancing at an exceptional rate. In fact, we're said to be in the fourth industrial revolution. Therefore, the demand for people in technology fields is more than significant. It's important that we are preparing for that today. Think about it. The top 10 in-demand jobs today did not exist in 2010. Did you think that today we would have 3D printed houses? There's one being built in Chesterfield County as we speak. We are currently preparing students for jobs that don't yet exist, using technologies that haven't been invented in order to solve problems we don't even know are problems yet. 65% of the jobs in the year 2030 have not been invented yet, but at the Governor's STEM Academy, we are preparing for them. How do we do it? What's the process? Why are we so successful? The Governor's STEM Academy is different than the other two academies. Students in our academy are taking elective courses within the STEM Academy offerings and not outside of it, with the exception of our ninth grade STEM English course, which will focus on technical reading and writing. Yes, because of the rigorous nature of the courses, the students do end up in many of the same honors and AP classes. However, it really depends on the student's interest. Future chemical engineers are taking AP chemistry with their engineering course. Future entrepreneurs are taking AP statistics. And future programmers are taking AP seminar to supplement their presentation skills. It's about exploring the elective possibilities before college and career. And it works. The Governor's STEM Academy graduating classes accept almost a million dollars in academic scholarships each year, including appointments to the service academies. This is completed through communication, leadership, technology, industry certifications, and college and career ready courses. Communication. Every STEM course includes a technical writing component. However, we recognize that even in the digital age, nothing can replace face-to-face -face communication Every STEM class concludes with a formal oral presentation and students in their capstone courses have to communicate with outside vendors and other mentors. Students have to be able to communicate with people of all ages and we prepare them for that at the Governor's STEM Academy. Leadership. Every STEM course offers the opportunity for leadership with collaborative projects. In addition, each STEM pathway is affiliated with a co-curricular organization that offers additional opportunities for leadership. Our STEM students are officers in our co-curricular organizations DECA and TSA. Our STEM students have been regional and state officers in these same co-curricular organizations, giving them opportunities to shine both in and out of the classroom and on college applications. Technology. It goes without saying that every student will be exposed to so many forms of technology, from a recording studio, a photo studio, multiple 3D printers, 3D scanner, 
VEX Robotics, laser engravers, laser cutters, flight sim simulators, various Apple products, all the tools needed to be successful outside of the classroom are available for our Governor's STEM Academy students. Our returning students tell us that they are some of the only students in their respective programs in college that know how to use the software and machines affiliated with their degree programs because of the courses they took in the Governor's STEM Academy. Industry certifications. All STEM students will earn multiple industry certifications. What is an industry certification? It's a credential from an agency earned after testing at the conclusion of a course. It is a mark of excellence and the technology industry standard. Some industry certifications may be used for college credit, but most certainly the skills gained by earning industry certifications prepare students for success in technical degrees in college. College and career readiness. Not only are all STEM courses rigorous, but each STEM pathway has been partnered with several advanced placement classes to ensure students are prepared for life after high school. Our students visit many places and are introduced to so many opportunities outside of school. You'll see and learn that in each of our pathways, students begin with a foundation course or courses, have the opportunity to take several specialized courses, and conclude with a capstone course, providing each student the scaffolding to work on those independent projects in their capstone courses. Why STEM? Let's take a look. STEM is a place where I can advance my education uh, and learn things that you would never otherwise be taught anywhere else. It's, it kind of opens doors to things that you wouldn't really get at any other normal high school and uh, really gives you an opportunity to, um, to challenge yourself. To me, STEM is a place where you can express yourself and learn about new things with different people from all over the area. The STEM Academy means I can be myself without being embarrassed. It's a judgment-free zone. I can be that cool nerd in a sense, I'm able to express myself in a healthy way and I'm able to feel smart and be smart without being judged and it's my favorite part about it. To me, STEM is a place where I can pursue my passion in engineering and develop more skills to be further prepared for the real world. It's a different type of atmosphere. It's something that you never would, you've never done before. You can think that you might have done it before, but you really, you start, you get in there and it's a completely different atmosphere. You, it changes the way you look at things and it puts you to the test in ways that you didn't think you could do before. My grass field experience, um, it's definitely one that I would not have experienced at my zone school. I've taken charge in so many different opportunities that have been pre presented to me. I, I've gained so much confidence just being in STEM, I'd say, and just I like how it's integrated into um, the other classes that everybody else is in. I'm not separated from other people. Um, I just feel like I'm, I'm a part of this place and I've definitely made sure that my voice is heard. I, I definitely do enjoy the grass field uh, experience. I have the opportunity to kind of switch strands as we call it. I'm a member of the entrepreneurship strand as well as a member of the IT strand. So I got to see how both of those mingle well together and it just opened so many doors for me. So now not only will I be able to find out how to have my own business the best way possible, but I can also incorporate technology into it. STEM Academy has offered me the opportunity to learn several different disciplines of engineering. There has been many different activities and field trips that um, I've enjoyed going on that have just um, furthered my interest in the field of engineering. STEM has given me opportunities from field trips to internships. I've been able to explore my passion and learn more about myself and help others along the way. You should apply to STEM because it offers so many opportunities. 
Um, we have so many internships we have the opportunity to go to. This summer, I got to go to the FBI. Like, who's ever gonna get the chance to go to the FBI? In addition to that, I'm at the best school in the entire world. I love Grassfield where I'm at. And it's easy to, to transition to. Um, I have so many friends within the academy and outside of the academy. So it gives me that opportunity to meet and mingle with people that aren't like me, that are different, to give me a different perspective of the world. The STEM Academy has offered me many opportunities, one of them being DECA. Uh, DECA is a business organization, and last April I got to go to Orlando, Florida for the national program, and I got to compete. The STEM Academy has offered me many opportunities, including TSA, which is the Technology Student Association, which I am currently the regional vice president of. The things that I've been introduced to, specifically in the engineering pathway for me, um, Autodesk Inventor, and some of those things aren't taught till college in a lot of places, and so some of those opportunities that I've been given now are fantastic. I've been exposed on how to properly write a resume, how to behave in the workplace due to internships. It's definitely changed the course of my life because I know if I did not go to Grassfield, how my life is right now is not how it would have been if I did go to my own school. And um, I'm, just, I'm just really grateful for the opportunity I've been given. So one of the special things about STEM is that uh, you get to interact with a lot of the other Grassfield students and you don't just get confined to your STEM students. So you get to make a lot of friends inside and outside of STEM uh, instead of being confined to just one specific workplace. I think one of the biggest opportunities that STEM has offered me is that you learn to work with people who you might not necessarily want to have to work with or you would love to work with. And you get that, uh, that integral opportunity to work with them uh, and it sets you up for success later. A lot of other places you don't learn to work with people in a teamwork environment and that's one of the biggest downfalls of people in the workplace. I advise you to uh, take charge in your life and your time in high school. You only have four years. Um, if you want to be great, be great. You know, and it's really just what you make it. The Governor's STEM Academy offers three pathways, but you will see that each pathway is not a distinct line. Each pathway runs parallel and intersects with the others, thus encouraging students to take classes outside of their pathway in addition to their pathway. Students must still take the courses required to graduate, English, math, history, PE, science, and foreign languages, but even in our program, there is still room for the fine arts as many recognize them as a supplement to the STEM curriculum. But engineers need to know how to program, entrepreneurs need to know how to program, engineers and programmers need to know about databases, programmers need to know about digital electronics, and everyone needs to know about leadership. Our incoming students, the class of 2026, will take their respective foundation course, but this year will also take the STEM Honors English 9 Technical Writing course. This will give our incoming STEM students the opportunity to get to know one another as students in all three pathways will take this course. This course will satisfy the English 9 requirement, but will also give students additional opportunities to read and write technical reports, which are required of all of our STEM classes. All of our courses start with a foundational course and allow students to specialize and end with a capstone course. Engineering and Technology is partnered with the co-curricular organization TSA, the Technology Student Association. Students in this co-curricular organization competed at the local, state, and national level, taking home top honors, including third in the country in several competitive events. In the capstone course, students work in teams, are given a budget, and must redesign a product to improve it. Students make their presentations to a team of engineers, a la Shark Tank style. The engineering classes use the state-approved Project Lead the Way curriculum. I'm proud to say that we are a Project Lead the Way School of Distinction, which means 70% or more of students earned a distinguished or higher on the end of course exam. I'm actually really proud to report it's 100% here at Grassfield High School. Listed, you'll see a few of the suggested AP courses engineering students take to complement their coursework in their STEM classes. As with every AP course, college credit may be earned depending upon a score on the final AP exam. Each school that accepts the credit is different. 
Old Dominion University is a part of our partnership team. The engineering department has reported to me that without a doubt, based on the statistical data they have accumulated, students from Grassfield High School's Governor STEM Academy are most prepared for the rigors of their engineering program. The engineering program is partnered with TSA. And like I said last year, students on our teams placed in the top in the country competing in systems control. They know collaboration, teamwork, cooperation, and persistence. The programming and software development pathway is also partnered with the co-curricular organization TSA. When a student completes the programming and software development pathway, they will be able to create their own video games and be Microsoft certified. Current estimates state that we will be 1 million people short of the jobs in the industry in the next five years. Programmers and software developers are needed in every industry. Our students are lear learning Java, Python, C++, C Sharp, Microsoft Access, SQL, and incorporating virtual reality into their classes. Our students are competing and winning in competitions, including second place in Lockheed Martin's Code Quest. Students in their capstone course are creating those video games and complex databases that can be used across industry lines. Students in the programming and software development pathway have the opportunity to earn several industry certifications, and you can see some of the suggested AP courses that students could choose to take as well. Again, these are just suggested courses as there are many AP courses available. Entrepreneurship and technology is paired with the student organization DECA. The students in the Capstone Leadership Development course have partnered with the Food Bank of Southeastern Virginia, and we are a certified Lead for Change school. Just last year, during the height of the pandemic and without students in school five days a week, this group collected over 10,000 canned goods to donate to the Food Bank, as well as several thousands of dollars for the Food Bank to use as it saw fit. Students in the Entrepreneurship and Technology Pathway earn industry certifications as well, and you can see the suggested AP courses that students could choose to take, and there are many. But it's not just about what is done in the classroom, and actually it's about what students do outside the classroom and the way they apply the skills learned in the classroom. Students have the opportunity to take many field trips, participate in conferences, speak to groups, listen to guest speakers, attend socials, and participate in many community service events. STEM students are given multiple opportunities to learn outside of the classroom and from experts in their field. And we believe in having fun outside of the classroom. We have many socials throughout the year that include team building, resume writing, and lots and lots of food. A great feature of our program is the opportunity to intern. Each student, regardless of pathway, will intern or job shadow the summer before their senior year. These are just a few of the companies that our students intern for over the past few years. And like with all internships, this is an opportunity to use all of the skills or to find out what you like or perhaps more importantly, what you don't like. Many internships have turned into part-time employment. Some of our former students are now working for these companies because they were prepared by their experience in the Governor's STEM Academy. Our STEM graduates tell us that the skills they learned and applied in their internships in the Governor's STEM Academy put them far ahead of their peers in college, and that as college freshmen, they were able to secure coveted internships because of the experience and skills they already have. Our STEM students are invited to participate in so many opportunities and allowed to shine as bright as they would like to shine. So what's next? Complete the application. Be mindful of the deadlines. The application is electronic. And while there are no projects that will be completed prior to the assessments to be turned in, there is some homework and some programs to familiarize yourself with prior to your assessment. Once you've completed the application, check your school email for directions. Depending upon your first choice pathway, you'll be asked to complete some tutorials to familiarize yourself with what is done in each of the pathways. Don't worry, you do not have to be an expert with any of the software. We just want you to run through the tutorials and practice. 
After all, this is an opportunity to get a small taste of what is done in our academy classrooms. So students, please check your email so that you receive those directions as well as your Google Meet link to your virtual assessment. When completing your application, you'll be directed to a link to select and reserve your assessment time. All students will participate in a written assessment, but each student will also participate in a project based on their intended pathway. You want to be familiar with those programs introduced in the tutorials prior to your assessment, and you will use them as part of your assessment. You will use your own device, and you should be familiar with Google Documents, Google Slides, or Microsoft Word and Microsoft PowerPoint. You will save all your work as a PDF, so practice that as well. But directions on how to save as a PDF will be included in your email. Remember, you are checking your school email, the one that you use on your application, to receive instructions on some tutorials to watch and do prior to your assessment. Winning. It's like 25 the laughs that you bust out of prison Something's in the air, something's in the air It's like that feeling when you're just about to kill it Take your last shot, you know you're gonna hit it Something's in the air, something's in the air Whoa. It's like an anthem that the whole world's singing Hands are in the air Hands are in the air Whoa Have a great evening. Please follow us on social media to see all the wonderful things that we are doing in the Governor's STEM Academy. Thank you.